Welcome everyone to another episode of the Sovereignty of Scotland, where today we are having difficulties trying to invade the Great British. It sounds really stupid, but I'm having difficulties invading Great Britain because the amount of times I've tried to invade Great Britain... Great, great, can't speak today. Great Britain, I've been having major difficulties of all sorts and kinds. Some have been rebels, some have been the fact that we still haven't been able to recover our prestige after years of being at war, but that's mostly because of our own faults. Um... These guys are actually very similar. Our guy, I think our guy actually beats them out slightly, but these guys are very similar. So, the general of, of, um, Franca Seluk, Seluk, will be the general for when we attack the British eventually. And, in terms of how our army, our army tradition is so bad that your mama could just, like, steep on it. I mean... This is bad, people. Wow. Just... Wow. And it's not helping the fact that we're also still going down on loans. Let's decrease this. And have this siege up a little bit less. Because, I mean, we don't have to spend years and years on the siege, but... Like, wow. Okay. And... Seems like the Protestant Reformation has basically taken its course with the generally of the world... Okay, Denmark went Protestant. That isn't exactly a good thing. Lancaster siege is over, which is good. We just gained our income back. And, yep, Protestant. I still can't do anything about it, though. Because that was, you can't, basically, even if you do pass any of those acts, you can't get rid of them until religious zeal goes away. So even if I do the act of conformity, it still would not make me be able to, to like, yeah, it doesn't make me anywhere near converting any of these provinces. So, my basic thing is that if they get Lothrian as a Protestant, I'm basically going to give up and just say, okay, we're going to Protestants. Because there's no, at that point, there's just basically no point of staying Protestant if we basically are Protestant at that point. You know what I mean? And then Denmark definitely went Protestant. It's going full on Protestant. Like, wow. And... I, I think this is basically just shaping up to be an average Protestant Reformation. Nothing really spectacular about it, but, you know, just always the usual good. Uh, Adrian. Okay. If the Scottish peasants, the one good thing I can rely on this is that they shouldn't be well versed in how to fight, and they shouldn't be supported by the British, so the Reformation branches out. Okay, so now we have a possibility of inheriting now we formed. Which that'd be an interesting religion to become. Because we formed actually not I believe out of the three Christian the four Christian religions, five Christian religions in this game, the form is probably the best. There we go. Okay. So to for them to have it would be really interesting. For us to have it would be really interesting. Do I want to convert all my land to that? Uh not really. I mean and not really. <laughs> Just the simple facts. I really don't. Oh my goodness. And France, you guys have somehow contained your Protestants, which is good. Also, we still have royal ties to to, uh, to a Castile. Castile must really hate that. They must be like, dang it, we we helped. You. These guys are now a part of our family line. This stinks. Okay. Active festivities. Oh my goodness. Again. Dang it. Again. It's a base tax. I can't. I can't just... Oh, goodness. If base tax is there, then it helps us out way better if we just accept the base tax. I mean, short-term-wise, the stability would be nice, but it's base tax. Oh. Uh, okay. Hopefully, we won't have any more attacks. And apparently, even Austria is going through a time of rit religious disorder. France is apparently... Yorkshire... Oh, you British jerks. You British jerks. I have the like mind to just declare war on you, see you guys suffer, and then go back and go kill you. Because I know it was you. There is no possibility that it wasn't you guys who just supported rebels in my land while I'm weak. France, yeah, let's get a war manage back. I'm hating these guys right now so much. So very, very much. Okay. Means I'm gonna have to put all put our stuff back. 
But you know what? I'm not going to attack these guys until after the war starts, which, if I play my cards right, I could get France in on the war, because France will want to be on this war. Truce is... Oh, they can only declare war. Well, I have no reason to stop myself. Uh, yeah. I have no reason to stop myself. They don't have any reason to stop themselves. France is not at war with anyone. Let's do this. Let's gain that free... Oh, shoot. Everyone that is a part of my shipbuilding process, everyone dock up as quickly as you can. I don't want anyone to die. Okay. There we go. Alright. So now that my people are actually back to being all ultra badasses with the 3.1... Wow, that's still not very good. <laughs> oh my goodness. And let's see, how's that add fair? James the fourth is not exactly a great king either. Or Kerm's a great statistician. Um yeah. These are English patriots, so they're not gonna fight against England. But what we have to basically do is is since we have Okay, raise wartime taxes. So that we can get some wartime taxes, because we actually do need that just to survive. And what we need to do immediately is engage the troops and kill them. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I, let's see. 25th, 29th. Okay. Good. Oh, shoot. Yep. Yep. As I thought. This is exactly what I thought. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew that these guys were going to help him. Okay, so as soon as they siege down that province, I'm just going to go over here and siege down London. <laughs> I mean, if they're casually not going to deal with it, I'm just going to go siege down London. Build some more troops. Let's see. The actual British have three cannons, two regiments, and nine soldiers. We have at our disposal two cannons, ten regiments, uh, one so about 13 soldiers. Okay, and... <laughs> Hey, Britain, you forgot about one thing. These are all my patriots, so I can do that. Ha ha. And let us just continue on. And let us hope that maybe France will come and help us, but I highly doubt that. Denmark somehow... And what the hell? How did Denmark enter this war? Oh my goodness. That... Did they have an alliance with Denmark? Okay, they had an alliance with Denmark. Denmark, I'm probably guessing, called in Muscovy. Yep, Denmark called in Muscovy. Brandenburg apparently didn't want to join in, though. <sighs> I hate alliance chains so very much. And now I can't even call in Austria because it's been 60 days. <sighs> My goodness. Also, you guys, right here, show province, cancel that. Okay. Don't you dare build that soldier. Okay, you guys... Go this way, go this way, go this way, then go down here. Okay. That means I have to beat up Denmark before they'll give me my land. Ah! Uh, hate you so much right now, England. You guys just did the cleverest thing you could have ever done and make the... Uh, Denmark... Uh, that makes me somewhat very mad, but I'm not going to quit because I'm going to beat these guys. Just let my rebels in the north kill the Denmark, and if they try to attack me, well then screw them. We have to, but what we are going to have to worry about is the fact that we basically are on an island all by ourselves. Um, the only help we're going to have is, is France, but they're not going to be much of a help. Um, Denmark is basically just going to rule the seas for like the next couple years. Yeah, they have basically ruled the seas. I have no way of stopping England either, so... There's no way we can stop them from doing that. And hopefully they'll just fight my rebels and I can instantly attack them at some point. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Okay. Do you make sure, make sure you do not let them group up. Because if they group up any more men, we could potentially deal with a situation where we could die a lot quicker. Okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You guys don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Better way of putting this. You guys aren't getting... Yeah, no. Hey, you guys aren't getting... Okay. Let's see, let's go kill these guys too. Wow, they have a lot of troops over here landing on my... Landing on my border. And now we got them. 
Ooh, oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. And this could potentially crash again, so I'm going to stop. And I am back, people, after everything, and apparently while it's gone, uh, my troops decide to be a douche and apparently get their butts kicked by the British. 14, 15. Get him back over here. Yeah. So, in all honesty, we are outnumbered on the mainland. The British basically have the advantage right now. Um... The sending the troops in to right now go wipe me out, and there's absolutely nothing I can do to stop it because I have such a weakened state. I'm just gonna have to hope that maybe we can beat them, but we can't. So, okay, screw it. What do you guys want? Suggested offer, go. I can't fight this. Who succeeds? Yep. Salvoy will transfer provinces. Okay, that is really the most awkward thing I've ever seen in my life. But it was honestly the only thing we could do because apparently uh, now we got rebels again has left the coalition against us and now we're back at basically square one in this entire let's play really getting sick of this people really getting sick of this so um yep yeah, I have nothing to say to that I really, I'm going to end the episode today very short. I know it's not exactly what you want to see, but I'm quite frankly very mad and I really can't play the same more because if I do, I'm just going to force it and I don't want to force it. So I'm just going to quit and I'll see you guys next time.